Yo guys, first and foremost, man, before we even start this video, I got some creepy monkeys at this garage sale. Check these things out. Check these things. Bro, I got them in the backdrop. These dudes are mad creepy, bro. I don't know what's up with the vibes of these, but um, if Toy Story is any indication of real life, brothers, it's a haunting happening in the Cantu residence. Let's just put it that way. Hey, but these, these monkeys, they're from 1956 and they go crazy. All right, anyways, let's get into this video. I just, I don't know. I felt like showing off my monkey. Oh God. Oh my God, Bob and Weave, daddy, Bob and Weave. All right, man. Oh, today we got a fan flame unboxing. Um, a bunch of you guys sent me a lot of stuff, so I want to get into it. We got three packages on top, and you guys might be like, wow, you're only unboxing four things. First of all, it's Tings. I uh, am Canadian all of a sudden, slash Jamaican. Um, but look, there's even more parcels inside the big thing, the big box, like a Russian doll vibe. So before we get to this video, man, I just want to shout out all my fans, all my supporters, everybody uh, who shows love, man. I appreciate you guys. And the reason why I'm wearing um, the Charlotte Hornets jersey is to show y'all that I am not getting fat. A lot of you, P-H-A-T. A lot of you guys have been body shaming me recently. Um, and yeah, dude, I weigh like 164 pounds, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, some of y'all be looking at my face and like, I used to be like hella skinny, but damn, bro. Like, y'all be acting like I'm not built like a twink. Y'all need to chill. Um, chill. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Also, shout out all you guys who were roasting me and not the last trip to the thrift, but the one before that when I accidentally called some Jordan 9s, Jordan 10s. The Jordan 10s. Bro, what the f I've made 300 videos and y'all act like I can't misspeak. Now, me editing and leaving that in, obviously that's on me. That's on me, baby. But, um, yeah, dude, fuck it. I, I speak so much, guys. I'm gonna be destined to make mistakes, so forgive me if you guys got triggered. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, shout out to everyone who shows love too. I love you. Uh, let's get into these boxes right now. <laughs> Bro, it sounded like a guy was hammering something. Hammer time. Um, anyways, guys, we got a bunch of stuff from my supporters. Some of this stuff says it's from eBay. I don't even know, bro. I'm just gonna crack into it first and foremost. We have this um, little padded envelope to start off the day. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about this. Hey, man, I'm sorry on eBay for uh, not giving feedback sometimes, but I save these things for unboxings. Anyways, I found Mi Chiquita. This nice little shirt, and I was like, man, I was jealous that it fit her and not me, so I had to cop one in my size. Bro, look at this. You got the dull pineapple tea. Dude is wearing a visor with this sprig coming up. This guy is vibrant, very tropical, very beautiful. But the message that this shirt says on the back, man, hug a pineapple, Aww. come on. Why are they hammering stuff? Oh, they're bringing something up the stairs like, like a fucking washing machine. It's like da-da, da-da on each stair. Anyways, yeah, man, shout out this uh, shirt. It's fire. Anyways, we got another shirt. Um, I got this off eBay. I actually unbagged it so I could drop some feedback. But the person who I copped it from on eBay happened to F's with me. So uh, that is it's bloody brilliant, yeah? It's a terrible accent. But anyways, the homie said, holy shit, is this the Paul Cantu? If so, I love your vids. Stay cool. Tim. Aww. So um, yeah, shout out to Timothy Delaghetto. He's uh, turned to an eBay career. Awesome. Um, I'm so awesome. I'm so fucking awesome. Anyways, guys, this is the piece I grabbed off the homie Tim. It's the DeWalt Racing shirt right here. I love NASCAR tees, man. And this colorway is beautiful. It's like primary colors: red, yellow, and blue. So yeah, shout out DeWalt for constructing a lot of things, and uh, shout out that boy Tim for loving on me with that note, boy. He also threw in some extras. I assume he does this for everybody, but hey, I really don't know. Um, you got the X-Files cards right here. These are sick. Um, they're really dope. And he threw in the Adidas Jersey Shore Soccer Tournament, 1979. 
So that's nice. And then the emergency AAA service. So if I ever um, want to kidnap people on the cool, I can just slap this on and act like I'm trying to help them when they're pulled over. So thank you, bro. Thank you, Tim. Um, I've been watching a lot of true crime shit, so that's, I guess, where I got that reference from. Anyways, moving on. Um, we got another bag right here. This is from The Workshop in uh, Clearwater, Florida. So let's see what the homies done sent me at The Workshop. Put in work. Put them in the dirt. Um, it kind of sucks that I can't use songs, but for real, man, like YouTube is going crazy. Someone said the videos aren't the same without the songs, bro. Honestly, man, I've like, I've lost like over a thousand dollars. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm not gonna try and get into the details. So, um, this note says, "Yo, can't too. Sorry this took so long. Enjoy, bruv. Mike." All right, let's see what um that boy Mike Jones threw in. Oh, um, yeah, this is the homie Mr. Fomer Simpson, bro. I forgot he even was gonna hook it up with this guy right here. So yeah, shout out the the homie, the YouTube fellow creator, Mr. Homer Simpson. Mr. Homer, wow, Mr. Fomer Simpson. I hope I said Fomer the first time. If not, I'm tweaking. Anyways, look at this, man. Fuck Hill figure FUBU shirt. You have the property of FUBU Marine Navigation Vintage FUBU Jacket. This thing is um, red, white, and FUBU. Appreciate that, bro. Y'all go check his channel out. Link in the description. Okay. This package came in recently. It's from that boy, Daniel Layu. I guess it's like Caillou with an L. I don't know. But um, uh, getting into it. <laughs> Yo. There's a picture frame in here, bro. Ooh. So I'm curious to see what is in here. Oh, that's cool, man. It says uh, the marathon still continues and there's no note. It just has that boy Nip on the inside um, drawn in blue. Uh, yeah, dude, rest in peace, Nipsey Hustle, bro. That dude um, is a dope artist. I like the song Double Up. That's one of my favorite songs by him and Keys to the City. So rest in peace to a legend. Anyways, we got another box right here. Um, it says, enjoy this sick, lit, fiery heat. Wish the condish was 100. So what is the condish? Um, this is by Jason Biscuit, even though his last name is Biscoat. But whatever, Biscuit. Let's get into it. Trish is going to have to pop the seal on this baddie right here. Oh! I almost stabbed myself. Oh! All right. We'll see what we got inside. It looks like a big old blanket. Uh, maybe it's a poncho. Oh, it's the, um, I think it's the Houston my freaking Rockets, boy. Dang. It says Houston over and over, um, 22. And it looks like this thing got shot by a 22, bro. There's a big old bullet hole right through this. Um, thank you for that though, Mr. Biscuit. Wow, Trish, you're gonna move the whole camera like that. But yeah, shout out Mr. Biscuit for the blanket. We have another package. This is by Airmail. Oh, dude, this is international. It's from the United Kingdom. Hello. Um, let's get into it, pop it. It's a terrible accent. Do it. All right. <laughs> let's get into this jar right here and see what I got sent all the way from the UK. They really just sent this in a Nike box though. That's what's up. Bro, there's a ruthless amount of tape on this package. Let me just put it to you guys that way. And there better be a note because I'm trying to play my music. Hey! All right, so <laughs> the homie threw in the uh, JLS. And then, um, oh damn, there's a long note. Okay, <laughs> sit down class, get ready for this. Hey Paul, let me make sure the camera's recording. All right, we good. It says, hey Paul, your videos are super cool. From the thrifting to customizations, each one has a lot of minute details, which reflecting your passion for creating and editing content. You're also a very skilled artiste. The ideas you come up with are so unique which is refreshing as a viewer to watch. It's crazy to see the kind of things thrift stores in the good old US of A have. 
I'm from the UK, across the pond. They didn't say that. I'm from the UK, and we only have small charity shops which might contain one kind of item you pick out if we're lucky. There's still great shops and causes, however, they are quintessentially British. I, I'm hoping to cross the pond. Damn, he actually said that. To America next year, so can't wait to try out thrifts if I do. Here's some finds that I picked up from the English charity shops that may appeal to you. All right, um, shout out Sam from Sheffield, England. Sheffield is like the most English sounding fucking name of a city ever. Sheffield. Um, nice. Thank you, Sam. I love you. All right, that boy Sam threw in the Winnie the Pooh Bear miniature plush. Cute as can be. He also threw in, uh, uh, the fuck. <laughs> the dude with the raincoat, British as hell. This looks like some shit a British person would play with. Is this, what is this from, bro? I think this is, is this from Winnie the Pooh? Bruh, I'm trying to remember. I don't know, man, but, you know, he looks Euro European. Um, he also threw in the, the Cheshire Cat. It says Bagapus. Bagpus. <laughs> nice. Um, and then we'll see what else is inside real quick. He threw in, oh, these are dope. Some uh, Premier League cards. All right. So I used to always watch Premier League highlights when I was growing up wrecking on the pitch or soccer field as we call it here. And then he threw in um, the Sheffield jersey. That's dope. I um, thought this was some Harry Potter crest at first, same, same country. And then a nice little button up as well. So thank you, Sam. I love you and I appreciate it. Now last and certainly not least, we have a giant box. Boom. Uh, you guys know Puma just randomly sends me stuff. Um, I am seated by them and I wish I would have been on this campaign because I love the packaging of this box. So you have the liquid cell. These have been out. I don't know if they're still available, but like peep this display, bro. Oh, I don't know if that's all even in camera, but dang, bruh, the display on these guys goes crazy. Um, here's what the shoe looks like. It's like, it looks like pool water. It's like some tie dye blue, um, yellow hits on the back. This thing is just very, very nice. I do like this shoe. It looks really cool. And the packaging is even more better. So yeah, I'm probably gonna put this on display in my room or something like that. Damn, that, did I just break this? No, I didn't. All right, guys, so if y'all enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. It certainly is fun unboxing a lot of the stuff from you guys. I have customs coming up. If y'all wanna send me anything, my PO box is in the description. Um, yeah. Wow, I became like a five-year-old. Yeah! I'll see you guys next time. Leave the dream, eat that vegan ice cream. Um, keep body shaming me. It's all good, baby, because Spaghetti Arms Can too is locked and loaded. And it's gone. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.